The song Push the Elephant is a favorite for many of the children that I work with. And there's a variety of different ways that I like to incorporate sign language into this song. I'm going to show you a few examples and then let you decide which way works best for you. Uh, you always pick a sign system or way to sign that matches uh, the student's ability. So, first we start with hands up and closed, and we're doing the word push. You gotta push, push, push the elephant. And if you notice, I started here by my nose, and then I kind of made a trunk sign. You gotta push, push, push the elephant, push, push, push the elephant, push the elephant. Push, push, if you want to get the elephant out of the house. Now, if you know a little bit of sign, you probably noticed that when I sang out of the house, I actually did the word house first and then out. And that's a very ASL way of signing it. Uh, for our sake, we sometimes, with the students that we work with, we want to really match up the vocabulary sign word with the word that's in the song. And this may or may not be true. It really depends on the, the student that you're working with. If I was working with someone who's uh, deaf or hearing impaired, I would definitely sign the ASL way. If I'm working it to boost the vocabulary and communication skills of someone, let's say with Down syndrome, I would probably uh, want to sign the sign word along with the word. So that way they make that connection. So here's a different way to do it. You've got to push push, push the elephant, push, push, push the elephant, push the elephant, push, push, if you want to get the elephant out of the house. So then there's a variety of different things that you could add to this uh, simple song. You can then add different animals. So let's do, you got to push the tiger next. You got to push, push, push the tiger, push, Push, push the tiger, push the tiger. Push, push if you want to get the tiger. Let's say off of the bike. So we would do off of the bike. You gotta push, push, push the tiger. Push, push, push the tiger, push the tiger. Push, push if you want to get the tiger out of the tree. So there's a lot of different words that you could use. You could use house. You could use boat if you want to get them out of the boat. You could use get them out of the tree. You could use get them out of the house. Off of the bike. Um, out of the car. There's many, many different things that you could sign at the end. And of course, you can use a variety of different animals too. So, one more time with a song, and we'll use the elephant. You've got to push, push, push the elephant, push, push, push the elephant, push the elephant, push, push if you want to get the elephant out of the car. So just to give you a couple other animal signs that you can maybe use this week, um, we did tiger, we did elephant, I love this one, moose. You can do a dog where you tap your, the side of your leg and then snap, dog. If you want to get the cat, if you want to get the lion, um, there's a variety of different ones, and you can probably research some of them online. There's many different um, resources that you could use. Uh, www.signingonline.com um, has a great course that you can even go through, and it gives you um, a video vocabulary list or dictionary that you can resource. Um, and you can always ask me if there's a particular animal that you would like to know. I'm going to leave you with my favorite one, which is turtle. You have your thumb here, and you kind of put the shell over it. So that's a great one to know. That's one of my favorites. So if there's any other animals that you would like to know, uh, just leave a comment on the post, and then I'll, I'll sign that for the next time. Thanks a lot.